Hey guys, welcome to today's sunscreen video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing several face sunscreens that are my holy grails. These are sunscreens that I enjoy using on an everyday basis and these are also ones that I would 100% recommend to you guys as well. So get ready, I have a lot here and I'm going to try my best to make this video as short and sweet as possible and I will have everything that I'm talking about in today's video linked below for you for your reference. So go and grab a coffee, go and grab a cup of tea, maybe a glass of wine, whatever you enjoy drinking, go and grab it and let's have some fun. So let's get right into it. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing some mineral and chemical sunscreens. I also have some hybrids, which are mineral slash chemical formulations. I have some tinted options, some non-tinted. I also have a couple powder SPFs as well. And I also have a sunscreen that gives a beautiful glowy complexion to the skin as well. Now all of the sunscreens are cruelty free. They are also all broad spectrum and majority of all of them are fragrance free. There is one sunscreen that I believe is not fragrance free. There is no artificial fragrance but there are some extracts and fruit oils which of course I will let you know exactly what sunscreen that is. So I'm going to start with mineral sunscreens first and I actually have three from Color Science so I'm going to start with this brand. So this one is the Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield which has an SPF 50 with a PA++++. This is water and sweat resistant up to 40 minutes and this is great for all skin types. This has a beigey undertone to it. So if you have fair skin like myself or a little bit deeper than my skin tone, this will work amazing to eliminate that white cast. That beigey tint is enough to disguise the white cast. Now if you have a darker skin tone than I do, the good thing with Color Science is that they have a bronze option, which is a lot deeper. So that one would be a great option to go with to disguise the white cast. They also have a glow option, which is supposed to be really beautiful on the skin. It's going to give a nice dewy glowy complexion and I really want to get my hands on that one because I live for a glowy look but in the meantime this is fabulous and this is one sunscreen that I do use almost every day. It sits nice with my makeup, it sits nice with my other skincare products, I never experience pilling with this one and this is really hydrating. Now you do want to shake this really well before using. You want to shake all of your sunscreens if you can before applying them to your skin because if you have a sunscreen that is more watery the ingredients can settle so you do want to mix all of those ingredients up again before applying them to your skin. So I will show you what this one looks like. So that's what it looks like there. So you can see that there is a slight beigey tone to it and it's enough to eliminate that white cast. This is very hydrating like I said. It's non-sticky and it absorbs into your skin really quickly which I can appreciate. So as you can see it's already massaged into my skin and there is no white cast. I also have the Loose Mineral Sunscreen by Color Science and this is an SPF 50 and this is what I use on top of my makeup every single day to keep my skin protected all day long. I reapply this every couple of hours especially if I'm going to be out and I'm going to be outside or I'm going to be shopping which of course I am not doing right now but if I were I would reapply this every couple of hours and keep this in my bag. If you don't wear makeup you can still use this especially if you don't want to reapply a liquid sunscreen on top of what you did from the morning. So I love it. There are four shades to pick from. I have the shade medium for summer but in the winter I would use a fair and there are two deeper shades from medium. So the way to use this is that you want to turn it upside down where you see the powder, bang the bottom a few times which it will loosen the powder into the bristles, flip it back over and of course apply to your face and you just want to do circular motions all over your skin and you can see right here the powder floating in the air. I'm really hoping that you can see that. So that is how you would use the powder and this is honestly a great option if you wear makeup every day. 
I also have the Total Eye 3-in-1 Renewal Care by Color Science, and this is an SPF 35. This is an under eye sunscreen, but not only does it protect your under eyes from the sun, it also helps to color correct as well. And there are four shades to pick from. I have the medium shade. This is also a great product to depuff because of the application. It really has that nice cooling effect, and this helps with fine lines and wrinkles also. So this isn't necessary to have in your skincare routine. You can just use your face sunscreens and bring them up under your eyes, of course on your eyelids and underneath your brow bone, but if you do suffer from dark circles and you would like to color correct, then I would definitely recommend this one. So I will show you what this looks like. All you gotta do is push this little button behind the applicator to dispense the product. And that's what the medium shade looks like. So it's not too bad, it does have a peachy undertone to it. And this one, applies really nice. You don't need much of this. I feel like a little bit goes a long way with this one and you will be left with this color under your eyes. But if you choose the right shade for your skin tone then it should blend very well. And this is also really hydrating as well. I have a mineral sunscreen by Paula's Choice and this is the Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 30 and this has antioxidants plus resveratrol in the formulation. Now, I did show you what this looks like on my skin in my ordinary anti-aging morning skincare routine video, which I recently just uploaded, so I will leave that video below for you if you wanna see what this looks like. But this also has a slight beigey tint to it, which helps to disguise the white cast. And they say this is great for all skin tones. It has that natural tint to it, where it will work on most skin tones, but if you do have a darker skin tone, of course, it's possible you may see a slight white cast to your skin. They say this is also a silky lotion that mattifies the skin. This does not mattify your skin where you are super matte. So if you are looking for a sunscreen like that, this isn't the one for you. This one keeps your skin looking skin-like, where you don't look too matte, but you also don't look too shiny either. It's that nice, happy medium, and I can really appreciate that finish. So it is beautiful on the skin. It's very hydrating. This doesn't dry my skin out and I do shake this one pretty well before dispensing the product. This one isn't as liquidy as the color science but I still try to shake it as much as I can. So that's the color of the Paula's Choice, very similar to the color science one and when I apply this to my skin, this one spreads very nice, it absorbs pretty quickly, and it sits well underneath makeup, as well as my other skincare products as well. So as you can see, that's all massaged into my skin, and there is no white cast. The next mineral sunscreen is one that I really love for summer, and I have mentioned this one a few times on my channel, and I've also mentioned it in last year's sunscreen video, and it's by Australian Gold, and this is the Botanical Tinted Broad Spectrum SPF 50, and this is a mineral lotion that has antioxidants in the formulation, so this is great for anti-aging as well. Now, typically, I like sunscreens that leave my skin skin-like, or sunscreen that give me a glow to my skin. This one is pretty mattifying and typically I wouldn't go for sunscreens like this, but this formulation is different. The formulation is very creamy, very comfortable to use. It sits nice on the skin. It doesn't dry my skin out. And even though this is more mattifying, I really like using this one in the dead of summer when it's extremely hot and humid outside. This is water resistant up to 80 minutes. So sometimes in the summer, I can look pretty greasy. I have normal two combination skin and sometimes my face can look like a shiny disco ball. So this really helps to cut down on that oil. So if you have normal to oily to combination skin, this will be great to use. If you have dry skin, I wouldn't suggest the sunscreen because it can be a little bit drying on the skin. I actually can't use this in the winter months because this is way too drying on my skin in the winter, but in the dead of summer, like I said, it's fabulous. And I like the tint because it's not too tinted. 
pigmented. I can use this without self tanning and it still blends very well to my fair neck. So I really love the formulation of this. Now I have the older packaging. They did come out with two new shades. So you can purchase Fair Light, which is very similar to this color, and you can also purchase Medium Tan. I believe it's Medium Tan. So there are two color options right now, and I am going to be purchasing the new package very soon. So let me show you what it looks like. I can't shake this product because this formulation is pretty thick, but... I actually really like it and I will use this instead of makeup sometimes because I do feel like this helps to even out my redness and it helps to give me more of an even complexion. So you can tell it's a little bit darker than the Color Science and the Paula's Choice but it's that nice fair to light shade and this one spreads very nice. I do find that the consistency of this is very thin and it does absorb into your skin nicely. This one does not leave your skin tacky or sticky. It does dry down pretty matte like I said, but as your day goes on and when your natural oils come through, your skin then looks skin-like. So it does look beautiful all day long. So like I said, if you have really oily skin, normal combo skin, this will be a great one to go with. The next mineral sunscreen that I really love is by CeraVe and this is the Hydrating Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 30 and this is the Tinted Sunscreen. Now I did purchase this last year on the Amazon.com website because here in Canada we cannot purchase the sunscreen. This is not available in any of our stores. We can't purchase it on the CeraVe.ca website either. I don't know why. This has been out almost a year now and we still can't purchase this in Canada. So I'm really hoping that they release it to us at some point. That would be really nice because this is a lovely sunscreen. It's tinted. It's pretty dark. I do find that I can only use this when I'm self tanning because when I am not self tanning, this is super dark, but then my neck is very white. So it looks like I'm wearing a mask with this sunscreen. So if you do have a darker skin tone than I do, this will be beautiful. But if you have fair skin, you may want to self tan when you're using this sunscreen. This one is amazing. It's lightweight. It's non-greasy. There are three essential ceramides in here which will help with your skin barrier and there's also niacinamide in here as well. Now this sunscreen surprisingly does not make my makeup or my other skincare products pill and there is a sunscreen by Elta MD that I used to use which is the UV Clear which has niacinamide in it. That sunscreen always pilled with my skincare products as well as my makeup but surprisingly this one does not pill with anything. So that's amazing. And this is what it looks like here. So it doesn't look too bad, but it is more tinted than the Australian Gold. And I do find this one to be pretty dark on my skin, especially right now. So this spreads nice, it absorbs nice as well, it's non-greasy like I said. Your skin will be left with a dewy complexion, so it's definitely not matte, but it's also not too shiny either. It's a beautiful finish, and when you go and put your makeup on top, it looks absolutely beautiful. So you can see how tinted that is already. It's pretty dark, but it's a beautiful color, especially when you're wearing this in the summer months. I will sometimes use this by itself and just add a little bit of blush, tinted lip balm and mascara and that will be my look for the day and this sunscreen is beautiful. So I highly recommend this. The next mineral sunscreen is one that I recently started to incorporate in my skincare routine and it's by SkinCeuticals and it's the Physical Fusion UV Defense SPF 50. This is great for all skin types, especially sensitive skin. And this has a slight tint to the formulation as well, which will work on most skin tones. This is very thin in texture. It's actually very hydrating, sits well underneath makeup, and it works well with my other skincare products in the morning, like my vitamin C, all of that good stuff. And this keeps your skin looking skin-like. And I will use this by itself sometimes without wearing makeup and it's enough to even out my skin tone. So also love this one. I have to shake this one really well because this is very similar to the Color Science. It is pretty watery. I do have to be careful with this one. So that's the color there. So it's got that light natural tint to it. 
and this one spreads nice. This one is very, very thin in consistency. So if you like that type of consistency when it comes to sunscreens, you will absolutely love this one. This is fast absorbing and it almost leaves a nice powdery finish to the skin, but it doesn't dry your skin out and it doesn't make your skin feel tight. It just looks skin-like and it feels skin-like as well. So this one is really nice. The next mineral sunscreen is by Hydropeptide, and this is the Solar Defense Non-Tinted Broad Spectrum SPF 50. There is hyaluronic acid in here as well as antioxidants, and there's also another ingredient called Galanga Root, which this ingredient helps to reduce the appearance of oiliness. So if you have oily to combination skin, this will be a great sunscreen to pick up as I find this really helps to reduce the oil throughout the day and I'm not as oily in my T-zone area halfway through the day. So I do find it helps to reduce that oil, especially the dead of summer when you're sweating a lot more. Now this sunscreen has a couple of extracts in it. There's cucumber extract and I do believe there's a few other ones as well. Now there is no scent to this sunscreen whatsoever from my experience. I don't smell anything, but I do want to let you know in case you are sensitive to some extracts. So I will show you what this one looks like on the back of my hand. Like I said, this one is non-tinted, what it looks like there. I do find this sunscreen to be a little bit thicker when you apply it to your skin, but it does absorb into the skin really nicely. I really don't have a white cast to my skin whatsoever. And I think this is another lovely option. And the last mineral sunscreen that I have is by Derma E, and this is the Sun Protection Mineral Powder SPF 30. So another great option to apply on top of your makeup throughout the day. This is very similar to the Color Science one, but this one only has one color option, whereas the Color Science has four color options. And this one is an SPF 30, whereas the Color Science is an SPF 50. But they're very, very similar and they both do the same type of thing. So same idea, you want to bang the bottom a few times to release the powder into the bristles and then of course you can just apply to your skin after and as you can see a lot of powder comes out of this one now the way to disinfect the bristles I like to spray the bristles with alcohol so I like to dilute the alcohol with a little bit of water I put it in a spray bottle and I just spray the bristles every couple of weeks just to disinfect it and that's how I clean it so that is an option if you want to disinfect it once in a while but I really like this one and I think this one is just as good but depending on what you're looking for for different shades or or a higher SPF will determine whether you go with this one, the Color Science, or even a different brand. So now I'm going to move on to my hybrid sunscreens, and these both have chemical and mineral ingredients. Now the difference between chemical and mineral is that chemical sunscreens absorb into the skin, whereas mineral sunscreens sit on top of the skin. So people who have sensitive skin tend to resort to mineral sunscreens, as these are more gentle and these are also safer to use. Now, if you're worried about long-term exposure to chemical sunscreens, a lot of people will make the switch to mineral sunscreens. So it really is a personal preference. I personally enjoy using mineral sunscreens the best, but I also enjoy a few chemical sunscreens as well, and of course, the hybrid ones. So the first hybrid sunscreen that I have here is by Dermatology, and this is a medical grade skincare brand, and this is the Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46. This one has a universal tint to it. So according to dermatology, they said that this tint will work on all skin tones. This is very hydrating, great for anti-aging as well. There's vitamin E in here, niacinamide, as well as hyaluronic acid. And the niacinamide in this SPF does not pill with any of my skincare products either or with my makeup. So I love that. And this is a lovely option, especially if you're into the hybrid sunscreens and you're also into a tinted option as well. So I will show you what this one looks like on the back of my hand. So that's what it looks like there. 
It's fragrance free. It's also oil free. It absorbs into the skin beautifully. It does leave a little bit of a sheen to the skin as well, which I personally like, but it does absorb into the skin pretty quickly also. So as you can see, it's already absorbed into my skin. And the other hybrid sunscreen that is my go-to, holy grail, I've talked about this sunscreen several times on my channel, is the L to MD UV Daily Broad Spectrum SPF 40. This, I love. Chef's kiss, this is my absolute favorite. So this is a sheer lightweight formulation very hydrating. This keeps your skin looking skin-like so you don't look too oily either but you're not matte and this just works well with everything that I apply to my skin. It's just one of those sunscreens that is a must-have in my collection. So this is great for normal to oily to combination skin but I believe if you have dry skin this would still work really well because I do find it to be pretty hydrating on the skin. My skin never gets dry with this, my skin never feels tight with this either and it just works. I have the non-tinted but you can purchase the tinted option. I haven't purchased the tinted before so I'm not sure exactly what that would be like on my fair skin, but I really enjoy the non-tinted, so I just keep purchasing this one. So this one spreads nice too. It absorbs nicely. This one, again, will leave a little bit of a sheen to your skin, but nothing crazy, and I just really love this one. Moving on to my chemical sunscreens, the first one that I'm going to be sharing is by Paula's Choice and this is the Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid Broad Spectrum SPF 50 with antioxidants and soothing plant extracts. So if you are sensitive to plant extracts, you may not want to pick up this sunscreen. But this is a lovely one. I quite enjoy this. This is a new one that I've added into my sunscreen collection and I really like the texture of this. It's like water. You do have to shake it really well before applying to your skin, but it sits nice under makeup and it works well with my skincare products. And if I can find a sunscreen that works well with my other skincare products, no matter what types of products I am using, or it works well with my makeup, then usually it's a keeper in my books. This is pretty hydrating. I do sometimes find that my face can feel a little bit tight with this halfway through the day, especially right now being spring but I believe when it's dead of summer I don't think that I would experience that because of course there's more moisture in the air so I will have to let you know if I experience tightness in the summer but I don't think that I will so that's what it looks like there and this one spreads really nice because of that thin texture and it doesn't leave your skin tacky or sticky and it's pretty quick absorbing as well the next chemical sunscreen is by La Roche-Posay and this is the Anthelius Ultra Light Fluid Lotion SPF 60. Now I've been using La Roche-Posay on and off for several years. I never got into their skincare products but I've always gravitated towards their sunscreens and I've really enjoyed this one. Now this is fragrance free, it's water resistant up to 80 minutes. This one does leave a slight matte finish to the skin but halfway through the day, once my natural oils come through, my skin looks skin-like and then I'm happy. So I really like this formulation. It's very lightweight and it absorbs really quickly as well. And I believe a lot of people have tried La Roche-Posay. So you want to shake it really well before dispensing, of course, because this one is really watery. And that's what it looks like there. And when this applies to the skin and as this is absorbing into the skin I do feel like this has a powdery finish to it and it's very comfortable I really like it to be honest with you this is great for sensitive skin but if you are more on the drier side it's possible that that powdery feel could make your skin feel dry it could make your skin feel a little bit tight so I do want to put that out there in case you do have dry skin but that powdery feel really is lovely and I quite like the way that it feels on the skin
And the last chemical sunscreen that I have is by Super Goop, and this is the Glow Screen SPF 40 sunscreen. This will give you a radiant, glowy, dewy finish to your skin, and I absolutely love it. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but if you would like to see what this looks like on my skin, I did upload a dedicated video on this, and I do show you what this looks like on my skin, and of course, I will leave that video below for you, or up here, but I love this one. I wish that this one was a mineral sunscreen, but that's why I'm going to try and pick up the Color Science Glow sunscreen. I'm hoping that it'll be very similar to the way this looks on the skin, but I do prefer a mineral, like I said. So I will be venturing out and picking up the Glow sunscreen if I can from Color Science. And if I do, I will definitely do a video and compare the two. But this is a great option if you like that finish. And this sits beautiful underneath your makeup. This really makes your makeup look radiant and glowy. And again, if you like that finish, you will love this. So I will show you what this one looks like. This one has a slight tint to it. And this one applies to the skin very nice. It does absorb pretty quickly as well. And it just leaves that perfect radiant look to the skin. You can already see that nice glow and that nice sheen. So I love it. I know not everybody wants to look like a Tin Man, but I like to look like a Tin Man from time to time. I really like that glowy look. So those are all of my go-to sunscreens that I love to use on an everyday basis. These are truly my holy grails and I 100% recommend them to you guys as well. Have you used any of these sunscreens before? Will you be venturing out and trying some of these? Leave your comments below and if there's any sunscreens that you would like me to try out, I am open to suggestions. Leave your comments below as well. I would personally love to try more Elta MD products, but here in Canada, it's really difficult to purchase Elta MD. I know you can purchase some products on Amazon.com and there are some other websites as well, but I find it to be very difficult to purchase. And I don't know why we can't purchase Elta MD products here in Canada, but hopefully sooner than later we will be able to. I would love to try the UV Elements by Elta MD, the tinted version of the UV Daily, and of course there are some other brands of sunscreens that I would also love to try. But in the meantime, leave your comments below. I would love to hear your recommendations and I will try my best to venture out and pick up some of these sunscreens. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Of course, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell and like this video as it really helps my channel. I will have all of the products that I talked about in today's video linked below for you and I will see you all in my next video. So take care and I will see you guys then. Bye guys.